Welcome to a simulation video. This is a performance-based question and a drop-down style. I don't have a whole lot of drop-down styles, so I need to make more. Okay, here's the task or scenario. Your video production client is requesting a high-end system with the best data redundancy possible. Money is not a concern. Okay, instructions. Choose the correct drop-down menu that correlates to the situation. So before we go any further, how comfortable are you with RAID and RAID technology? RAID stands for redundant array of independent disks, or some people say inexpensive disks. But in this scenario, I don't think it's going to be inexpensive because money is not a concern, right? So we have to make sure we read that part. Okay. Um, so let's explain the RAID levels quickly. So RAID 1 is just striping. It sends the data across multiple disks, but there's a zero redundancy. Okay. Um, since there's zero redundancy, I don't think it's going to be the best data redundancy possible. Um, RAID 1 is mirroring. Uh, that's a pretty common RAID that you'll see on maybe less important systems where data is duplicated to disks. So it has an advantage over RAID 0. RAID 0 has no redundancy. So if a drive fails, then that means that you lost your data and you can't get it back. But in a RAID 1, if a drive failed, then you would still have another drive that's good and you can restore your data and continue working. Okay, RAID 5, what is a RAID 5? RAID 5 is striping with parity. Um, so that means that across multiple disks, you'll have data that's uh, redundant in some ways. And if a drive fails, you can just put a new drive and rebuild the RAID. It's pretty good technology overall. And then we have RAID 10. RAID 10 is a combination of mirroring and sorry, mirroring is the one, and then the zero is uh, striping. So it's mirroring and striping together. So think of zero and one, yeah, 10, one and zero, 10. So what is the best redundancy possible that you can offer your client? Um, although RAID 10 does take four drives and the other ones I believe are three or it could be less, um, that would be a more expensive option to use RAID 10 but you would have more redundancy options in case a drive failed because you are mirroring and you are striping at the same time. If you are not familiar with the RAID levels, go back, look at the diagrams online, study them a bit, and maybe come back to this question. Okay, so let's continue. You need to select four disks here. Which disks are the best for RAID 10? Since we've already decided that has the best redundancy, requires the most disks though. Which kind of hard drives would you recommend to this client? So we can see that these are all five terabytes. Let's look at each one, five terabyte of IDE, hard disk drive. IDE is very old technology, uh, we would find on maybe legacy computer, even before PADA. So um, I don't really see that in the wild these days. Okay, five terabytes of SCSI hard disk drive. SCSI was a technology I am still used today. Maybe you would find it in a larger server where all of these drives are connected together. They use more of a protocol of how they connect and the connections that they use. But it's becoming less common these days. Okay, and then five terabyte of solid state drive, um, hard disk drive. So solid state is much more common these days. And you'll find that modern computers and tablets and phones are using disks that don't move. They're non-volatile non in some ways, right? Okay, so what would you recommend to this client? I already emphasized that money is not a concern. We know that solid state drives cost a lot more money. 
So I'm going to recommend that we build this RAID 10 with all solid state drives. It's the most expensive way to go. It'll be the best performing. And if they really don't care about how much it costs, they can have these five terabytes preserved very well. And a drive could fail or more, and you can just rebuild the array, put it back in, and you would move the sections of the drive that are a parity back to one of the drives that failed and you can rebuild the array that way. So this is the best way that you can service this client using a five terabyte hard drive that's much faster than the other two. The RAID 10 will have the most redundancy possible because it's combining RAID 1 and RAID 0 together. So you get best of both worlds. And so the answer for this one is RAID 10, five terabyte solid state drive. I hope we learned something new today. Good luck on your exams and thank you for watching.